Hello, it's Jay here and welcome back to part two. So here's where we left off in the previous lesson. We created three variables at the top and we was finding the game object with tag of player and we was caching its position. So let's downsize mono develop. So here's our scene up to now. As you can see, we have an FPS controller with tag of player and We'll create an empty game object. We'll name this, let's name this weather systems. So this game object is where we'll assign all our particle systems under. And we need to give it a tag so we can just click here, add tag, hit the little plus icon and we'll say weather and now we can assign that tag and we'll come back to our script and we'll enter there so now we have a game object with the weather tag we can tell the script to look for it so let's just copy those two lines hit there and we just need to swap out the naming conventions. So this one we'll just call underscore weather game object. And now we can say find the game object with tag of weather. And here we can use underscore weather. And it's the same naming convention here. And we'll just swap out the comments. So we'll save that there. So it's exactly works exactly the same as this line. So now the script is getting the position of the player game object with the tag of player and finding the weather game object with tag of weather here. And as I said, when we come around to creating particle systems, we'll just drag and drop them onto this game object. So they'll all be underneath this game object here and now we just need to tell the script to make sure that this game object is following the player it has the same position in the world but we just want it to be slightly above in the y axis and we'll do that in the void update so I'll come here and in void update, we want underscore weather dot transform dot position. And it's going to be equal to a new vector three. We'll open brackets and we'll say underscore player dot position dot x comma and we'll put the little space and we can just copy this and we'll paste it in there and we'll just change it to Y here and we'll paste again and I'll just put the little space in here and we just need to change this last one to Z we can get rid of that comma we'll close brackets and we'll close the line off so let's break down this line and I'm going to come here just after the open brackets and I'm going to enter and I'm going to enter after the comma here and here and I'll just bring these forward a little bit so we can tell they're all part of the same line and we'll put in the comments and we will come back and alter the y position in a moment so we'll say weather's position is equal to a new vector 3 which is the so a vector 3 is a point in the world 
and we're working in three dimensional space and we want it all them points to be equal to the player's position so the new vector 3 is equal to or which is the player's position on the x-axis and we'll copy that it's also equal to the player's position let's just bring that back in line on the z-axis here and for the y-position all we need to do is come just before the comma and we'll say plus the weather height because as I said we don't want it exactly at the player's position in the Y we want it slightly above so we're saying it has the same Y position plus what we've defined for our height here and we can just put that into the comments so we'll say players position on the Y axis plus the weather height and we'll save that off there so again when we come around to testing this script all our particle systems which will be attached to this game object will now be equal to the player's position on the X and Z axis and on the Y axis it will hover just above the head so I hope you enjoyed this I hope to see you next time and until then bye for now